Good morning and welcome to Moxie Monday. Today we are going to go into Moxie Present and I'm going to show you the listing presentation tool and how you can harness the power of the CMA that's inside the system. So here we are at mycbdesk.com. We're going to go ahead and launch MoxieWorks. MoxieWorks will take you to the dashboard where your name will pop up along with this blue bar at the top that gives you access to all the tools. Uh, today I am impersonating Catherine Justice, our Fresno branch manager, because I personally don't have a Fresno MLS ID because I'm not an agent and you can't harness the tool completely without having an MLS ID. So I'm going to use uh, Catherine today uh, as a proxy so I can show you some of the listing tools. From here, we're going to go into the first option right here, which is Moxie Present. So this is what Moxie Present looks like when you first log in. It's going to have a sample presentation here. It's also going to keep all of the presentations that you've ever made right here so you can access them and make small edits to them if you choose to. Uh, if you're coming in here to make a brand new presentation, you're always going to go right up here to this Create New option. If you have previous presentations that you want to make duplicates of and you want it to be the exact same presentation, just change a little bit of information, like maybe they've relisted the same property and they're changing the price point, you can always come in here and make a duplicate. You can also make quick flyers and a couple other options in here, which we're not covering yet today. So for our first time in here, we're going to make a brand new listing presentation. I'm going to show you how the CMA works. So like I said, we're going to come up here and click Create New. It's going to ask you what type of presentation you want. Most of the time you're going to be choosing a seller presentation. Sometimes property reviews, sometimes buyer tours, and that's like if you are um, giving a listing packet of uh, your property to uh, other agents or other clients that are interested in it. Uh, we've always called them buyer's offerings, but uh, Coble Banker calls them buyer's tours. Uh, it's kind of like a really, really, really fancy flyer. There's also the option for non-listing presentations, and those are for newsletters and other marketing pieces, basically so you can get access to the custom pages I'm about to show you. But for today, we're going to hit Seller. You have a bunch of different brokerage templates in here. There's the default presentation, which realistically you're going to use most of the time. There's also the Cult Banker listing presentation that I created and then modified and entered it into um, Moxie, so you guys would still have access to those pages and informations. There's also the listing syndication pages where all of the listings get syndicated out through and what websites they land on. Lots of people are very interested to know what websites their listing is going to appear on. And there's also the seller's guide. If you hit this drop down right here, you can actually access the parent company templates as well. So you're going to see just the default CMA only pages. Uh, there's a luxury uh, listing presentation. There's another uh, standard listing presentation here, and there's also a seller presentation that's in Spanish. Most of the time you're going to use just your basic uh, presentations though, so we're going to go with the default seller one today and hit continue. Um, we are going to call this one John Doe because I'm just using it as a sample. And then if you're a member of multiple MLSs, then you can choose which you want your source information to come from as far as the listings in the CMA. Uh, say you're in CRMLS as well as Fresno, and the listing happens to be in Fresno uh, area, so it's gonna come under the Fresno MLS. So you would choose that one as your primary. And click Create. It's going to take us to the step-by-step -step process of building the listing presentation. Um, and I'll show you just a little quick overview on that one too. So this is where you're going to enter the actual properties information first. I'm going to use one of Catherine's current listings. Um, I believe it's pending right now, but we're going to pretend that it's not. So I can pull up just some of the information. You want to fill out this page as much as possible because it's going to give you a better uh, estimate uh, on these next pages up here. So you're going to want to fill out, this as completely as possible, including all of this information down here. Three bedroom, we're going to call it two bath. It is 81, 31 square feet. So the lot size is 4,800. Like I said, we're going to fill all of this out, but we're going to go quick about it today. This is built in 1994. Um, you would fill out the basement and the features and all of that other stuff as well. I'm going to skip over that a little bit today just so we can move on. Uh, you can hit the continue at the bottom of the page, or you can also just navigate by clicking on these menu pieces up here. You can go out of order if you want to even. Next one would be our search function. And this is where we're going to start picking properties for our MLS CMA. So here's the property in question that's currently pending. 
um, you can adjust the filters up here and you can make it so you don't have any canceled or sale fails or expires or off markets that show up. You can choose ones that only have a pool if you want to have it be like these are homes that are all three bedroom and two bath but only have pools so you have a real apples to apples comparison and you would just hit apply at that point. So you can pick as many or as few as you want. Right now it shows 73 listings, which is a lot. I wouldn't recommend using that many. I'd try to keep to like say 10 pertinent ones that are actually valuable comparisons. And it shows you on the map where it is too. So this one is our property in question and maybe we'll pick another pending one that's close. You can see it popped up right there. And we'll pick this other one that's also close. And say I'll pick a couple solds that I feel like are close to the neighborhood. Oops, I clicked on that one. Uh, if you click on this portion of it, it will actually pop up and show you what the property itself looks like. So I went under the detail section right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these ones that are super close. Keep hitting that one. Sorry about that. And so I've got six listings. Say so you want to keep going to 10. When you're happy with the number of listings, you can go ahead and move on to the estimate page. And this is where filling out all that information is valuable because it gives you a good value of what it thinks that your property is worth based on the ones in the area. And then also all the information. It's saying where your lows and your highs are and based on bed and bath and square foot and all that information in here. And you can also create a range for this too, if you want to, since we're pretending that this is a new listing presentation. The last part is the pages. These are the 12 default pages that are created by the listing presentation. You do not have to keep these pages. You can delete ones that you don't like. So let's say that we have this one right here with the price of days on market. This is what those six listings that we had picked out of our MLS. Maybe you decide that you don't like this page in here. You can always just move it to a different area if you want to in the presentation just by clicking on it and dragging it or you can just straight delete it from your presentation and hit remove. If you want to add extra pages in here, say you like the information about relocation in there or you want to add that listing syndication, you click up here where it says add page. We're going to add from our library. So here you can access the library that I generated for you, or you can access the Copal Banker Parent Company library. So these 65 pages are the ones that I uploaded for you. And the 124 comes from the parent company. So if you want to click on any of those, you can see them. I've got the listing syndication distribution right here. If you want those ones, you can just click and add them in one by one. And it will add them into the report where your last at. So I was at the middle of the report deleting that one sheet. It will insert them right in that same spot. And when you want to go back and look at your report, you just go back here and click on pages. So now we're at 15 pages and it popped in. So we had our price and size, which was a default from the presentation. And then the next ones are those listing syndication distribution guides that I have for you guys. So you can see how uh, the status comparisons go. Those are those six comparable houses that we picked out of the MLS. So it's a lot cleaner of a look um, as opposed to something that you would print out from the MLS itself. Uh, you have the web view, which means it's best to be shared by a link and you can view it on a computer screen. You can also do a print view, so what it would look like if it printed. Right now this is set to print in landscape. Uh, you can also have this be set to print in portrait and then it would be in that mode as well. And it's got your agent information down here at the bottom, of course. At this point, you can view it online, you can email it, or you can download it. So if we hit view and say we want to have print portrait, this will generate a PDF. So you can download the PDF and you can print it in the office, or you can uh, send the link to it as like part of a pre-listing package, and then your client can view it online. Okay, so here we are. Obviously that takes a few minutes to generate because there are 43 pages currently, uh, and that has to do with all of this EMA information. So you can see if we had filled out more information, all of that would be on the property right here, as well as the plot points of the comparative properties. You can see the whole project here. And there it also, part of this is why it takes 41 pages because it shows all the listing photos. And another time I'll show you how you don't have to show all the listing photos. So that's how you can generate a listing presentation in Moxie Presents. See you next week.